Blessed are all of you who come in the name of God. And blessed are the two of you who find love under God's divine presence, under the presence of love. We rejoice today, Michelle and Gary, join in marriage in the presence of God and loved ones. Mi adir ala kol, mi baruch ala kol, mi gadol ala kol, hu yivarech chatan bechala. O most awesome, glorious, and blessed God, grant your blessings to the bride and groom. Surrounded by loved ones whose joy and prayers are with you here, you stand at this beautiful chuppah, symbol of the Jewish home. May your home be a shelter against the storm, a haven of peace, a stronghold of faith and love. Let us join now in the prayer of gratitude, the Sheikh Yanu. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Shehechiyanu, Vekiyamanu, Vehegiyanu, Lazman hazeh. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe, who has given us life, who has sustained us, who has brought the two of you to one another. They can't stop looking at each other. <laughs> it is with great joy that uh, we stand here together to share this special day with you and your family. The Bible says that man and woman were created in the divine image. Male and female, God created them. And so we pray, may the union of Michelle and of Gary animate the divine in each of them, and may each help the other to grow in God's likeness. We're going to drink from two Kiddush cups today. And they represent two parts of your lives. The first represents your lives that are prior to this moment. All those individual experiences that you've had that brought you to today and brought you to one another. All the sweetness and joyfulness that you experienced throughout those years. And then we'll drink from a second cup that will represent your future, which I'll talk about in a few minutes. This comes from a special Kiddush cup from Michelle's family that's been around for many years. And so it's with the understanding that you are both lucky to have found one another and it is those moments of joy that have brought you to one another. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam Boer keri hagafen Amen. Blessed are you, Lord our God, ruler of the universe creates the food of the vine, and even more so, creates joy and love in our hearts. So we praise you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who hallows us with meat's vote and consecrates this marriage. We praise you, Adonai, our God, who sanctifies our people Israel through Kiddushin, the sacred rite of marriage, at the Chuppah. Today, you're surrounded by loved ones. I want to acknowledge also that not only are your family and friends here, but that we think of Joan, Gary's mom, who's with us here today in spirit. Her memory is for a blessing. You enter this kuppa, Gary and Michelle, with the biggest smiles I've ever seen. A few tears, too, and that's okay. Somebody have a Kleenex? Okay. Mom. Mom. But you're not the only ones with smiles today. All of us who celebrate with you share in your joy, 
and we share in your love. As you said to me just the other day, this is a family reunion of sorts. And today, you are creating a family. We began the service with the words, Bruchim Habayim, meaning blessed are you. Indeed, both of you are blessed to have found one another. Your chuppah is a symbol of the home you will build together. And you wrote these words. You said, our chuppah is symbolic of our relationship. We formed the ideas together and spent months crafting the tree, the leaves, the names of family, and even the picture of Snickers. I thought I was referring to a candy bar until I realized it was something else. It is remarkable, this, you're continuing here, it is remarkable in that we have created it together with our own hands and a lot of love. It is a symbol of the life we are creating together. It requires thought, compromise, consideration, and sheer passion. Those words flowed so easily through you, as does its meaning exemplify who you both are. Pretty good ingredients for marriage. Oftentimes at a wedding, a toast will be made in which the one who's making the toast will say, here's to all the happiness in the world, or may you know only happiness. I think you two might be the definition of that happiness. Gary, you said that Michelle is warm, smart, caring, and filled with lots of love. Michelle, you said that Gary is an amazing listener and has the best heart you have ever known. You shared with me what a great time you have with each other, how easy your relationship is, whether it is cooking, going to the theater, watching Yankees, or traveling together. The two of you got it right. As one author has written, love is a moment that lasts forever. Your happiness is contagious and radiates in all that you do and in the family you're creating here this day. Given the events of the past year with your car accident, Michelle, you learned a tremendous amount about each other, as the old vows go in sickness and in health. You both mentioned how the accident changed your perspectives on life. The big things are important, but most of the other things in life are small and not that important. So we must put our energy where it counts most. This is where it counts most. The two of you did this beautifully with each other and through each other. It has been said and taught that a friend's love says, if you ever need anything, I'll be there. But a marriage love, a true love says, you'll never need anything because I'll be there. The two of you wrote, this is the happiest day of our lives together so far. It is the beginning to an amazing lifelong partnership, love affair, and friendship. Our marriage is a process, not an event. Sage advice. Success in marriage does not only come through finding the right mate, but in being the right mate. You each have found the right mate, and I know you will strive to be the right mate. Ruchim habayim. Blessed are the two of you on this day and for every day hereafter. And so I ask you now, in the presence of God in this assembly, do you, Gary, take Michelle to be your wife, to love, to honor, and to cherish? I, I do. <laughs> yes. <laughs> do you, Michelle, take Gary to be your husband, to love, to honor, and to cherish? Yes, I do. So, Gary and Michelle, <laughs> speak the words and exchange the rings that will make you husband and wife. I'd like to ask for the rings from our ring bearers. So Gary, if you'll place this ring on Michelle's finger and repeat after me while looking at her. It's a lot of things to do at once. Hareat. Mekadeshit. Li. Batavat. Zo. Kadat. Moshe. The Israel. Be consecrated to me. Be consecrated to me as my wife. As my wife. With this ring. With this ring. In keeping. In keeping with the heritage. With the heritage of Moses and Israel. Of Moses and Israel. 